Yo, what's up everybody on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode. And today, we're going to be playing Team Fortress 2. No, not playing. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to be doing an item review uh, for my things. But pretty much all I'm going to be telling you is that now every Friday, and every on um, every Friday, I'll make one new video. And every Saturday, I'll make two new videos. And Sunday, I might make one. So this is all the stuff. Uh, these are my class, the classes from my backpack. So I don't have a lot, as you can see, but my weapons are pretty good. So I got scrap metal. I have these four crates. I can just open them. I got a spell book page. This is a side gargoyle. Um. So pretty much this affects your class and what has. So you see, the, it has a list of all the other gargoyles you can get. And it has a description, so I'll let you read that. Anyway, so that's just something that affects me. like not that really thing. But the gunslinger is mine. I just borrowed it, and you can see it says test run. But um, so this is the Sandman. This is a level 15 bat for the scout. It's pretty good, especially if you're playing password. But I'll get more into that later. Uh, so, uh, you if you uh, right click, you're able to launch a ball that will send your opponent for a second, giving you the chance. In my strategy, to hit them with mad milk and then use your scatter gun on them, which we'll get to next. The mad milk, uh, it's level five. Um. So, pretty much, yeah, it says items have bonus. You can leave a calling card on your victim. But if um, players heal 60% of the damage done to an enemy covered with milk, it's also good for putting out a fire. So, yeah. Uh, that's, that's also something I'll get to later. But this is a crit's cake. This is my lowest medigun that I got. It's a level 8. And I'm trying to figure out if the quick fix is better. Because you see the crit screen only has that. And then the quick fix has all of that. You see, man. So I think I might be switching back to uh, quick fix. But anyway, it has 25 plus uber charge rate, which is pretty good. And the uber charge grants 100% critical chance. And then uber charge increases by healing. 300% advanced community to movement impairing effects. So that's more like a better thing for like stuff, but this is more of like a healing type thing. So, um, but uh, speaking of that, I am going to be doing a series uh, starting next week called Medic Milestone, and it's pretty much when I'm doing gameplay as the medic, and I am trying to um, <laughs> achieve the achievement and uh, get like something uh, I don't know how many times you need to heal somebody but whenever it pops up on our screen uh, but each thing will be at least 14 minutes and 32 seconds long I'll try to make it that long but um yeah so that's just something this is for the uh, sniper it's a level 1 SMG it's not that good but um it's the cleanest carbine so as you can see the description uh, it's not that good, but it can many crit somebody for 8 seconds, which gives you the chance to use a better weapon, when, like, for for example, if you have the Jurati, or if you have, um, the, ar the bow and arrow thing, or if you're just gonna use your sniper rifle. Uh, this is a mercenary, it's just a batch type thing. Uh, you just put on, I don't know exactly what it did, does. This is only for the uh, the engineer, and this is for everybody. But I do not. I took them off because it's not how we need anymore. We can't trade them, and they can't be used for cra um, crafting. So they're kind of just gonna sit there. I think I could delete them. Yeah, I could delete them, but when it's Halloween time again, I kind of want to keep them. Uh, but this is Darwin's new shield. Another thing for the sniper. It's a level ten shield. Uh, so, 
Uh, this is another thing where I'm trying to decide which should I keep the previous carbine or the danger shield. But the carbine can be good in critical moments like that. I'm wondering if it can help if someone tries to heal with the holiday punch, but we'll get to that later. Uh, so as you can see, it has 25 max health on the wearer and 15% 15 plus bullet damage resistance on the wearer, so that's pretty good. And 20% explosive damage vulnerability on the wearer. So that actually makes you more vulnerable, which is like what I'm trying to decide. Is this bad? And is this bad? They both have their flaws. And then these are just like things for it. Anyway, this is what I'm saying. This is a chest run. It's a gunslinger. Uh, if I actually unlock it, I'll do more with that. But pretty much it, cre it can create a bunch of mini sentries, which are really annoying because sometimes you can't see them. And so small, like, you can't really get into the place they're at. But yeah, once I actually unlock it, I'll probably do a broader, better description of it. But I uh, so this is a holiday punch. This is what I was wondering if this protects. Since it's on the back, the holiday punch has a critical hit uh, on the back, and it'll make your uh, victim to laugh, make your victim laugh. But if you crit, then you stun them. So that's pretty good. As you can see here, on hit, force enemies to laugh while also wearing this item. Uh. Be the life of the war party with these laugh inducing punch wounds. So they're pretty good. Uh, it has a, just like a punch punch and then an uppercut motion. One has a straight punch, which I'm pretty sure is a crit. This is a direct hit. Uh, this is my latest weapon for the soldier. Well, my only weapon that I unlocked for the soldier. It um, it can mini crit um, your victims that were launched by. Like, you, if you launch them in the air, it'll mini crit them. Uh, so it'll count as a critical hit. It has 25 plus damage bonus and uh, 80 plus um, projectile speed and then 70 minus explosion radius, but whatever. This I unlocked yesterday and I was playing with the rover. It is for the pyro class. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, no class, no class, no class, no class. Scout, scout, medic, medic, sniper, anything, engineer anything, sniper, engineer, heavy, soldier, and this brings us to our last thing, the pyro. This thing is awesome, dude. I just got it yesterday, like sometimes when you're playing TF2, hold on, see this thing right here, there'll be like a, another box with a, um, like a triangle with a exclamation point in it, which means you got something. So that's how I got that. But anyway, so when you hit somebody, they they turn on fire, and that's good because you have melee damage in that damage. And as you can see, it improves upon Mother Nature's original design. This is kind of like a joke for volcanoes by increasing portability. Modern science is unable to explain exactly where the lava is coming from. That's more like a joke, funny type thing. But the taunt for it is really good. Uh, soldier's kind of a barbarian with all his taunts, but this is like the if you ever watch a parody, oomph the way you oomph for the pyro, it's like a scout that keeps killing the spy. James Conker, check out his channel. Uh, he's actually he might be online. Shift. Yep, he's online. This is James Conker. You could check out his channel. Uh, hold on, let me just send a message. Um, 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 Save he responds. Oh, but yeah. So this is pretty awesome. Uh, so this is just I'm gonna give you a quick look at my stats. This is you don't really need to look up. Uh most points was eleven. Most kills was four as a soldier. Well, no. I killed sixty four people in all. No, no. I I got four more, so that's sixty eight people now I killed in all. But I don't manage to stay alive and kill them as one class. My most assist was as pyro, my most captured was as a scout, which was four. Most defensive was as a pyro. My most damage was eight fifty four as a demon man. Most striking was one as an enemy man, and most dominations was one as a sniper. My longest life was six minutes and eight seconds for the spy. That was when I captured um the intelligence I was able to do that. My most healing was three thirty nine as an engineer. Uh, I only got like 258 for the medic, but pretty much I made a dispenser and 
That was all I knew. My most teleports was zero. I mean, I don't, I don't really use it a lot, but most headshots was one as a sniper. That was awesome. But I did get a critical hit with the um sniper one on heavy. Actually, both of my hits were on a heavy. It's kind of funny. I don't know who the same thing. And most backstabs was one as a spy. That was on an engineer. Uh, so it's kind of a good thing. So let me see if we can find it. Okay. No, we do not. I'm just gonna. Just gonna load this thing with the Steam loaders here. Hold on. So that's all for this episode. Stick around. Tomorrow there will be two new videos uploaded. And I will be doing, um, gameplay as a scout. And then the gameplay as a soldier. And then next week I'm gonna be doing the Medic Milestone Part 1. So hope, hopefully you look forward to that, and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace!